They were disciples of Paul. That's what Paul preached. Some of us we have a problem. Because we think Jesus, that Jesus, that Christ is the second name of Jesus. The Christ, Christo, the Messiah, Masia, the Anointed One. When you say Jesus, the Christ, you are talking about Jesus, the One who was anointed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I told you, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, chapter 19. Of course, we were there a bit yesterday, but I now want to, I want to share. Now, Apollos went to Corinth. Paul had through the upper coasts, came to Ephesus and finding certain disciples. Mm -hmm. Now, what does Paul do? And he said to them, Have you received the Holy Ghost since you believed? Are you that yesterday, I'm not going to go back to the, I'm just passing here and then I'll go to something else. Paul said, have you received the Holy Ghost since you believed? Have you received the Holy Ghost since you believed? And they said to him, we have not so much as heard whether there be any Holy Ghost. They have not so much as heard whether there be any Holy Ghost. They have not so much as heard whether there be any Mm. Let me tell you. If a person wants to kill you, they will never show you the Holy Spirit. They will preach to you everything else. Now let me tell you. In all things that exist in the Bible, the believer must have. The person of the Holy Ghost should be on top. Because the Bible tells us that he is the foretest. Of the things that God is going to give us. Once you have the Holy Ghost, you are sure of going to heaven. Because the Bible says in Romans chapter 8 that if you do not have the Spirit of Christ, you are not here. Are we together? So if, if all these people are following the baptism of John, and they have no Holy Spirit. They are not even hard where they are, whether there be any Holy Spirit. There was a struggle. Now you can imagine in the city of Ephesus, which is dedicated to Diana, where everything that is done is done in honor of Diana. And then you have few believers. Who don't even have the Holy Ghost. In short, the Holy Ghost. They were running the crowd. A church without the Holy Spirit is just like a country club. Tribal meeting. Let's go. 
And he asked them, and to what then were you baptized? Now he said, and to the baptism. Now he said, and to the baptism. And he said, and to the baptism. And he said, and to the baptism. Paul said to them, Paul baptized with the baptism of repentance, saying unto the people that should believe on him that should come after him, that is Christ Jesus. When they have this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. How many of you here ever since you got saved you were water baptized? Put up your hand. How many of you are yet to be baptized? Have not been baptized? Put up your hands. Put up your hands. I'm not going to abuse you. Put up your hand. <laughs> Last time on Saturday. I need it tomorrow. The ministry is ending tomorrow. These people need to be baptized before the thing ends. You have a car thing here. We fill it with water and tomorrow you bring clothes and shh. They ask you what is your religion of baptism. You tell them, born again, son. I'm saying, born again. Born again. And when Paul had laid the hands upon them, the Holy Ghost came on them and they spoke in tongues and prophesied. Paul we are so poor in the Congo, we are not going to die in the Congo. We are 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 going to die in the Congo. A child has been there, it's not growing. The problem is one. The life of God is missing. Let me tell you. People love God. But they don't want to join a struggling thing. You 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 Sometimes I'm driving and I find a church with two iron sheets on top <laughs> and the tumbling around it. If seven people go down and tumble, neither the police or 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 the the police or the police or the the police or the police or the the police or the the police or the the police or the the police or who sent you to put that ramon ramon shampo this structure <laughs> how did you leave a, a well built up church and then you join the church with two iron sheets at the top of it and for me i don't have churches like that if you just rebel die with it When you come and tell me I have a problem, I ask you who is your father? Is he the one who released you to go and start that church? <laughs> and you put it there, a river bar. No, not even a river bar. Yeah. In the river. Pray. <laughs> Do you see how we embarrass the Lord of Christ? Do you see how we embarrass the Lord of Christ? That's what people know about us. 
I was talking to someone yesterday. Who was telling me, I have failed to find the church. And I asked him why. There are too many divisions. Let me give you free advice. Never join a breaking, a breaking or a breakaway church. Never join a part which is leaving the church. Pastor, so bad. The only 15 years I've served in him, I have never seen the anything. If he was so bad, how comes you have been there for the last 15, 20 years? I've never seen anything good. This man has not appreciated. We don't know what he uses money for charge. So in 15 years, how have you survived? Let me give you a free advice. And if you're here. You are attending a church that you know you've had stories. The pastor brought away from, from, from his pastor without release, proper release and reconciliation. You are aiding rebellion. And I will tell you one of the first things that is going to be hit is your marriage. And some of the things, some of the things, they are not demons, they are rewards for actions. Some of you are going to be sitting in the church and you are going to ask your neighbor, are they talking about you? He laid the hands on them. And they received the Holy Ghost. And spoke with tongues. Let me say a few things here in an apostolic manner. We don't see people with tongues. We see people with tongues. People are not filled with tongues. Open those windows. Open all the windows. Open those In the first dimension of prayer, when you are filled with the Holy Spirit, you start to pray in tongues. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. In the first dimension. The order is like this. The first dimension of prayer is prayer in understanding. The spiritual prayer, the first dimension of prayer in the spirit requires you for you to start speaking in tongues once you feel with the spirit. 
Okusaba uko moyo Ndale nisoke nwa hako Kaskot kilo moyo Otade kwa kusaba mwenyemi The second dimension Ndale nyoku bini The spirit starts to pray through you Omo ya tani kwa kusaba Kusabi na mwenye Those are two different positions the spirit can pray through you but it usually does not happen to most people on the first day on the first day after you feel with the spirit you must speak in tongues it is you who starts praying in, in the tongues In the second dimension, when you have when you have gotten used to praying in tongues and they get to a point where they no longer make sense, then the spirit begins to pray through you. Nga osabye nyo kunimi katika ogenda uzimajira ogenda ukulaba ngomoyo mtu kubatadika okusaba kunimi nga itu na mkwe. You know these are my tongues. O manyati zine nimi zange. This is how I pray. But I feel there is something else now that has taken me over. That is second dimension. Now in the third dimension of prayer, most of us don't understand that in the third dimension of prayer, there is silence. No, 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 there is, there is, there is groaning. Why you want to see that? Yeah, we first grow. Sometimes you will when get into prayer and you feel a sickness, you will feel a burden, you will feel your intestine standing, you will feel a heaviness, you will feel heat, you will feel very cold, you will feel sleepy, you will feel very low or very hard or very tough. Oh, you, how many of you have experienced those things? You just have to persist through that dimension. Now, when you go through that dimension, and the Spirit is praying through you, that also has a place where the, the, the words will cease to be your words, not the Spirit's words, and they will become groanings. And most of us think that is the place to keep quiet. No, go ahead and groan. Because those groanings are expressions of the spirit. So that you can pray those things and they come out of your mouth and then God can begin to answer. But but the very person who is asking for them is the same one who is going to bring them. So he doesn't have to mention them, he just uses your voice to to groan, and then he translates the groanings into a prayer in the presence of God. And then the very God that is causing you to groan on this side is going to cause the answers to come your way on this side. That is now our dimension. Oksawa obo dare ni oksabu katunda omoto atani oksaba katunda na ena atani kubanga sabi na muye ake katunda kuni ni 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 ya ake dokuto kini se sare no na ena are pero muto no kubanga sara esare ni yoke tu kini de. Jumene. Mufuna. Now this is one prayer meeting. Ni oksabu na ni mwe oksaba. You pray in understanding. Oksaba na kutegi. You pray in touch. Oksaba kuni then the spirit begins to pray through you. Then you enter groaning. Then you enter the last dimension. Where you find yourself, you've run out of what to say. You've run out of 
the tongues to speak. You've run out of the tongues that the Spirit can pray through you. And finally, Normally, even the groanings have ceased. Most of us think that God is saying, Go away. The last expression of prayer of prayer. Silence. Be still. Be still. Be still. And know that I am God. Yes. Yes. Now, for most Christians, they are not familiar with this. And that's why you see we don't have real power and influence. I was telling you yesterday. One which Dr. Brick spoke to the village. And he said that the Holy Spirit of God is coming to you. And the entire village begins to suffer. And everyone will acknowledge. Hey, there is something. There is something. Yes, it's killing our chicken. It is so suffocating us. Doing all kinds of things. Small demons. First dimensional demons. I told you that the smaller the demon, the louder the noise that comes out of it. And that is the demons which are in close rank to human beings. But they are the lowest ranks. They are the lowest ranks. Because all demons, demons also have ranks. I don't want to teach you those things. But just know that the demons that these witch doctors use are those which are not assigned in the spirit world. Egyptians are not assigned in the spirit world. They are not even assigned in the spirit world. They are not even assigned in the spirit world. They are the ones that kill snakes on the village. But they, they bring those demons and you say, Oh, they brought, they brought the whole disease. Let us fast and pray. You don't know what you want. Are we together? Yes. A man who prays, for instance, me, my neighbor, at the farm. Why don't we man our farm? We, and we separate our farms with the, with the fence. Now, just at the fence, the fence. He put a shrine there. I have just not got time to deal with him. Because I have not got time to deal with him. It's too small. I said, let me fast wait. Let me deal with him. 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 This month, he brought homes. The homes went to the entire village. Killing chicken, killing goats, killing people. I have farm boys, some of whom are not even born again, they are Muslims. But the name that their home could not cross a wire face. Now I have the castle on a Pusara face. They said for us we have not seen anything. They, they, they were saying that, but the things they exhumed, the things we saw. I was so happy because they also realized. Hallelujah! 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 So, so don't be dismayed because of the people who be with you. You just get to prayer and use those five steps. Sometimes God will defy them. 
Because sometimes you want to start prayer. And you start with the groaning. You just get into prayer and you want to pray. <laughs> I don't know if you can come and take you there. You say, my boyfriend is going to see me. Now listen, what I saw was that I was not going to be able to do it. I was not going to be able to do it. I was not going to be able to do it. Let me tell you. Not everyone who groans in the church is a sinner. Not everyone who falls to the ground has a demon. When we release the power of God, it's not demons that come to respond by beating people. Sometimes I hear people say, if you see me jump with them and we charge, how can we release the power of God and you transmit the power of God into demons? So demons. As I was telling you, the order is to go to the gospel. Hmm? Cast out demons. Baptize people. Once we baptize you in water, you have needed a change. You died and you have not been raised with Christ. When you are born again spiritually by the Holy Spirit, the Bible says, He that is born from above is above all. He that is born of God does not sin. Of sin may not be because the sin is so great. But they're using wrong tools. Amen. I want to finish and then we pray. We have uh, I still have about uh, uh, 20 minutes. So, I'm talking about influence. But in your influence. Uh, uh, that's not the word. What is influence? Domination. Opfuga. Mm, Wrong about influence. Not just of the atmosphere. How can we be here? And the Kadoni spirit still comes down in the village. The same village where we are. How can we be here? And which doctors? We hold the service and not far from here. Which doctors are also holding a deliverance service? Let me tell you. I don't know whether it happens here. In our church, we have microphones that share general frequencies. And sometimes these guys who are announcing things on pickups, holding microphones similar to ours, they interfere. And we also interfere. So in the church, we hear the announcement. We are going to be in the church. We are going to be in the church. We are going to be in the church. We are to be in the church. We are going to be in the church. On their tracks, they hear us preaching through their microphones. How can a witch doctor be next to a born and born child? How? Never And the network of the of the witch doctor is not cut off. If you hear his things, oppressing your prosperity. Why doesn't he feel you also? Yes. 
They want to fight. Even as you want to serve God. So I said, I, I entered into the battle. I first fought with the mother. The mother gave me three days to die. She's the one who died. They captured the hand to play the shrine. The witch doctor told him that to yeah. sleep on her, if you don't sleep on her, yeah. yeah. so they showed us oh, the gun. The, the woman that held the plates now for week away, then. died last week. Amen. This week, we changed them. We started now wrestling with the, bar, the, the young man. <laughs> He was sending me terrible messages. Two days ago, three days ago. Enough surface, he said. They attacked me. He told me where you are going. Those people are attacked. You could see them where I am. You don't understand these things. This guy had started on me. Directly. I fought in anywhere I knew. But I remained with one weapon. And I called my team. Said to kill someone. I'm going to kill someone. I'm going to kill someone. I say, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. Whoever will get any witchcraft will die. Who's that opposite? Ask, what did you do? Yeah. I took him to the heavenly court. See that the world open. I summoned the court of heaven. After calling the heavenly court, the man, this man asked to get God again, but it was already done. Yes, that that's two he passed on. How could you? Let me tell you. We don't see our This is not for pastors. Bible says he who touches you touches the apple of God's eye. The one shall and the question number by the way, the two guys are the two law and game, but the two guys are the two guys are the two. There is no scripture in the Bible that tells you you just sit there. Whoever can beat you, let them beat 
Jum dari Kedah. The Bible says our weapons are not coming. Bende na nati wakunisa ya fesiri ya kuhili. And they are mighty. Na yeti ya mani. They are dangerous. Bia mutagwa na na. Now, you find Christians who have access to everything, crying. Osanga na kristal, ala yina, ala sumo lopuma, upuna mitebaga, na neyo zanga na kaha. Let me tell you. You don't need this government. This government needs you. The government, the government, the government. We don't need this local government of Bali. Bali is empty. They are the ones who need you. The local government, the government. You don't need this. This is the LC that needs you. The local government, the government. The LC that needs you. Seven. 
This is not for the evening evening. This is a 